Hello geeks, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this third chapter, we're gonna go over the NiFi user interface. If you haven't yet seen the first and second chapter where we talk about the architecture and the main concept that NiFi uses, and in my second chapter, we did the installation on local, go ahead and give it a browse, have your local host set up, because now we're going to go through what it matters. So we're going to explore the NiFi user interface. So let's jump into it. Welcome back again. Um, so this last time we installed it. And if you haven't installed yet, go, fo go follow up to chapter two. Um, I'll put a link in the description as well. For those who did not subscribe to the entire playlist cool so let's go over the main components of the nifi user interface so we have a local host single installation running on our local host 8443 so we're first going to start with the top part of nifi which is also the components toolbar so we have two four six eight components here those are called components toolbar then here we have the status bar so you see you have all these metrics and indicators uh, that gives us an overall status of our flow. Here we have the operating palette. So we can see here we have configuration, enable, disable, start, stop, uh, create template, upload template, and other options that are not enabled uh, since we don't have the components available on the canvas to enable them. Here we also have the navigation or the bird's eye view. Uh, this is, uh, um, if let's say for example, if we do um, scroll up and down right now, we don't have nothing on a canvas, so that will not make a difference. But if we drag one element, so let's do this. All right, now we're gonna scroll out and you can see it will appear here. I can move my image from using this, um, this part here i can even hide it if i'm not interested into and then uh, just browse to it or click to it i can even make it even smaller i think once you have more element this will become uh, even even smaller you can even drag your canvas far away from it as you can see it becomes really it's like an infinite if you want to bring it as close as possible, you just play, you just press fit uh, and he will group most of the components on the canvas into your window. You can also um, press on actual, so this will put it in the middle. You can use this um, zoom in and zoom out, so you can zoom out by clicking, you can zoom in by approximating. So that's about the navigation. Now let's remove this one. The way you remove it, you either click on it and click right and delete, or you just press delete. So let's go over the top part and let's start with the, the first one. So we have first component here. If you see here, when I'm when I'm navigating towards it, it does this sort of um a grabbing hand, if I would call it. So all you need to do if you click on it nothing happens you see what you need to do you have to grab it on the can grab it and pull it on the canvas you see right now it there's a plus sign what this does here it brings me a list of components that we can lay out on our canvas and you can see here the components i'm going to spend a bit of time here and explain to you guys this you have all available components that come with the default installation here on the on 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 the left hand side we have the grouping so they can be grouped by all groups or uh, org.apache.nifi groups in my case there's no custom processors here so all of them they belong to the to this particular group if i would have some custom processor they will belong to a different group or a different entity uh, then you'll see multiple groups here so we see that we have a total of 297 
we can also we have also the ability to filter so let's say for example i want a processor that will interact with files so i'll just type file and then here obviously the term is not very good file because you get flow file so everything that has relation to flow file will be there but let's say ftp right so you can see it pretty much um it does a does a search and f it filters on them you can see the version you can see the tags on them uh, if you hover over it it's gonna give you a tooltip so we have the search capability and also you can search based on a domain or a particular subgroup we can say i want to see all amazon so you can see out of 297 we have we have 18 amazon uh, processors out of the box and we can go through them once you click on one you can also get a description down below uh, it pretty much gives you uh, a snippet of what is the use case of that particular thing so um or let's say for example list s3 retrieves a list of objects from s3 bucket so that's pretty straightforward if you want to go over it there is also the documentation on the nifi page i'll put a link in the description so uh, if you guys want to go and see each individual processor with all its details, it's very well explained. They talk about what attributes come, what attributes it delivers, how many connections, what are the statuses, and the use cases for it. All right, so cool. If The other thing is this. If you select one particular grouping, you know, to deselect it, you have to click again on it. So, because for example sometimes you might have one selected and then you're going to look for i don't know look for s3 nothing comes up because we restricted the search by by only telling him i want you to look for update type of processors all right so this is the this is the first let's say um uh, component in our in, in this uh, in this tutorial but now you say okay we dragged it we put it how do we how do i add them so one thing you cannot add multiple so it's not like yeah, I, I click right and select and shift every time you add a component it has to be an individual component so let's say for example i want to add a way component so what you need to do is just press add this will drop it on our canvas and if you want to remove it you see it, it whenever you click on it it does a it kind of blacks out the size of it so it's pretty much tells you it's selected uh, and right now it's an invalid state because it requires some attributes some some setting up but we're not going to go over that if you want to remove it you click delete or click and then press the delete keyboard keyboard on your keyboard all right you're good for now uh let's take a break there go get a coffee go get a coke whatever you want to do stand up stretch out great all right see you guys in the next one <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh.